I've been asked a lot about my filming equipment and if you've noticed, um, usually when I jump on a live or something like that, my lighting is not spectacular. But you might also notice that right now it is spectacular. <laughs> so I wanna show you exactly what my setup is because I think it's gonna be really helpful um, for people who want a really simple setup and I will link the products um, below. But here's a little insight into my truth. Don't judge my mess. This is just what happens. All right, so as you can see, I have got a ring light. This is the 18 inch ring light. Um, this is nice because it does not cast any shadows on my face. And it can be tricky because I have my window right here. I've got my blinds down but open so that it's soft light. I know it's tricky. It's kind of going to work differently with anyone with you know your individual setup. But the other part is, if I come through here, I have my Archon mount, and this thing is pretty heavy duty. It's got a real nice um, heavy stand, and it's got all these pivot points. So if I wanted to face it down to show a demo, then that's gonna be helpful for that. Um, and then it just, it has a really good grip here. It's, it's really strong, so I love this. I haven't gotten a new one since I've had this one, and I love it, love it, love it. Uh, my audio is not great right now. That's because I'm not hooked up to my mic. And listen, <laughs> I don't need this on because obviously I'm not in a windy situation. I'm going to turn this off so it's easier to see. Um, I'm not in a windy situation. But the reason I have this on is because a lot of times I am using my phone with the mic without this. And this thing makes it so much easier for me to prop the mic on without connecting it to anything but the nice thing about it is you can see maybe um i have it where it slides into that slot with the bottom there um but it's nice because it plugs in directly to your camera it also plugs in directly to your phone you do need um a different cord for that but i've linked it so not to worry i've got it all there for you but it's really um let me see if i can do this one-handed Oh, there we go. It's a really small mic. So, and I definitely don't need that thing on it, but um, yeah, so that's what it looks like. And it comes with this, like, I'm not a tech person. Is it a shock thing? Anyway, um, really, really helpful, but it definitely improves the sound. Um, I'll show you an example when I'm done filming this so that I can have it connected, but you can see it's not super long, so. Okay, so I've got the ring light, I've got the Archon mount, um, my mic, and I'm just, I film a lot, most everything on my phone. Um, and then I have these LED lights. And without them, um, I'll show you what that looks like. But with them, real quick, one more time, I'll show you what it looks like when I've got my ring light on and those two. So as you can see, I've got really nice bright light. My background here is lit really well. Um, I have my window that has that soft light. The reason I have them um, set up the way that I do where this one's a little more centered than that one is because I have that window light. So um, the ring light really does magical things and the other ones just can kind of provide like the ambiance light. So that's my setup, it's really simple. Um, and then I'll show you the deal with these. So if you can see, I'm gonna adjust the back. I'm gonna show you the back of these. Um, it has, sorry about my nails. <laughs> it's got an option to be battery operated or connect directly. But the thing that I love is that it's got yellow and white. And um, depending on the room that you're in or the lighting that you're in, uh, you can adjust these to where, let me show you, I'll turn them both off. So this one is where I just turn white lights on. All these are white lights and I can adjust the brightness. It's kind of hard to tell when it's the phone likes to, you know, auto adjust, but you're going to adjust the brightness, but then look at the yellow lights. Um, those will come on and be a lot, lot warmer. And then you can blend the two to create the perfect temperature and then increase the, the light, the dimness and whatnot. Dimness, you get what I'm saying. Um, and then I've got this tripod and I'll link the tripods that I use below, but basically that's it. It's a really easy setup. So this is when my phone is mounted. You can see that this is creating a pretty good ambiance lighting. And then if I really want to light myself, well, boom, got the ring light. And then I'm very crisp and in picture and lively. Um, so I'm not editing this video at all post edit. This is just what it looks like fresh out of the you get it. Um, I'm plugging in my Rode mic now. 
So this is the difference in sound. And it's just enough to where it, it gets a little less canny. Um, because the mic is not like a lav mic that's attached to my shirt, it still is gonna have a little bit of that echoey-ness, but um, I don't know. I just haven't gone the shirt route yet. I've heard a lot of people really love them, uh, but I really recommend Rode mics. They're fantastic, R-O-D-E. That's what this one is. Um, they're relatively affordable. I mean, I was using this one before. I'm still using it when I do computer stuff. This is a Audio-Technica 2020 Plus, and this particular one hooks up with a USB, which is really, really helpful if you're doing screen uh, voiceovers or screenshots, uh, screen captures and whatnot. Um, yeah, so what I used to do is I used to record, like have that sitting right here, record, and then match the video with my mic, but now this is making it so much easier to have a little more clarity with sound and then also film directly on my phone because easy and everybody wants easy. So that's it. All right. I hope that's helpful.